everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Clay. And you're watching a very chill edition of the Chris and Clay vlog. We decided to kick it old school and... Kick it old school? We decided to lay low and have a chill night. And welcome you to the bedroom. Hi. This is the bedroom. This is where we sleep and do absolutely nothing else. And... Oh. Halo. Oh, thank you. What's pillow talk, Clay? So we're gonna have some intimate conversations. Just chatting about things. About how much you love me. Mm-hmm. Before we get started, let's announce the winner of our contest that we did. So in our last vlog, we did a contest where we're giving away a Zoom with us two. And the winner is, drum roll, Katie Carr. So excited, Katie Carr. We are excited to uh, get on Zoom and chat with you. We will have our shirts on, don't worry. <laughs> uh, but we, what we did is we scrolled on the screen like really, really fast and we stopped Stop. and pointed. Katie Carr was the winner. Katie Carr. So all you have to do is go to my Instagram and click the email that's listed in my bio and shoot us an email and we will uh, get that set up. We can't wait to chat with you. Congratulations, yeah. Katie. What would be your ideal romantic getaway? I mean, going back to Hawaii. We had our honeymoon on Hawaii and it was so romantic. So romantic. Um, and it was so beautiful. Watching the sun rise some mornings. We didn't watch the sunrise every morning, but a couple of mornings yeah, we got up to watch the sunrise. Um, and we watched the sunset on the beach and it was so beautiful. Um, and we got to do some fun adventure stuff, like excursions, like we zip lined and we saw the Dole Plantation um, and a whole bunch of fun stuff. So I, I think that would be my romantic getaway. Just our choose. honeymoon, just our honeymoon again. Yeah, <laughs> go back to Maui. Also, we made vlogs of our honeymoons. You can check out vlog one, two, and three of our honeymoon. And there'll be links uh, down below as well. How are you? Um, I definitely like a beach moment in the ocean. That's definitely nice. Um, or a night where we can get dressed up and go like out on the town and go to a nice meal. But I think like romantic getaway would be like a beach somewhere with you. Lots of sunshine, some sand, the ocean, some yummy drinks. Yeah, especially right now, like in a pandemic, a night out on the town isn't really a thing. So going to a beach where it's just like us on the beach. Next question. What do you remember about our first kiss that we shared? Aww. Um, I remember thinking your lips are really nice. And big lips. I have, I have smaller lips comparatively. I was like, yeah, big lips. And they were like, soft. Yeah, my lips are that much bigger than yours. Well, I would say your, were. your upper lip is a little bit smaller, but... Hmm. That's what I remember. You're a good kisser, though. What do you remember about our first kiss? Nothing. It was scandalous because you were straight. Well, it was straight, but I was definitely not well, out yet, that's yeah. for sure. So I was like, ooh, because I'm the straight ball way. How would you describe me to someone who's never met me before? I would describe you as funny and outgoing, but reserved when you need to be, and thoughtful and loving and caring and generous. I would just say that he's a pain in the And it's true, it's no, true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. What's that from? Mamma Mia. I do, I do, I do. I will say he is extremely sassy, lots of fun. Uh, you make everybody feel special. And you're the love of my life, so you're pretty awesome. Hmm. What did you think when you first saw me? I don't remember the exact moment I first saw you. I remember thinking you were really good in the dance audition. That's my first thought I had about you because we met in an audition. Uh, there's actually a vlog too, I think, about how we met. So watch that. Um, but I feel like I remember thinking you were really talented. And um, yeah, I think that was it. I remember thinking you were talented. Um, what do you remember about meeting moi? We did meet in an audition, so I can see you not remembering the first time. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really remember the very first time because, like you said, we were in an audition, and I'm terrible when I'm in auditions. I have like blinders on. I'm like, kind of focus on doing the job at hand. But I remember like meeting you in callbacks and mm -hmm. thinking that you were cool. Clearly, I wanted to room with you, so I thought 
that you were cool enough to want to be a roommate. I'm sure he did. <laughs> If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe because we have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Right now, click it. Also, if you're liking this video, click the little notification bell next to the subscribe button. Yeah. So you can get a little ding every time we post a video. Ding. Do you remember the first moment you knew that you were in love with me? Oh. Asking the tough, hard-hitting questions. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a specific moment. I think just like over the course of a couple of weeks, I was like, I like hanging out with this guy, and I like, he's like a good a good time to hang out with, and... That's not love, though. That doesn't sound, that no, but like... I was like, I, I really enjoy your company, and so I was like, I don't know, I think I like fell in love with you just over the course of time. No, I don't remember like the, the one moment where I was like, bingo. I don't think I do either, but one like, period of our relationship. We'd only been together for a short while, but I was in New York and missing a show at West Side Story to being called back for the Book of Mormon tour. You were in New York also, but then you went to Denver without me. Mm -hmm. And you cut all these beautiful snowflakes and hung them from the ceiling. That's weird. I thought of that too. Is it because we all, that's where we said I love you was in, that, was in Denver. So. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking Denver when I was like, I want to surprise him with like mm -hmm. a pretty room. So when we were in Denver, Colorado on the West Side Story tour, I decorated the apartment that we got. We were there for like a month yeah. over Christmas and New Year's and I cut out all these little snowflakes. Snowflakes. And I hung them from the ceiling and around the room. And I got so like beautiful. green and red M&Ms. Mm -hmm. um, so I came and it was all Christmassy. It was very sweet. I remember that too. Yeah. A season of love, if you will. Season of love. I was singing in the bedroom. Next question. How do you see us 10 years from now? That's tough. I mean, I, I see part of the picture really clearly. And the other part of the picture, I'm not quite sure. Like career-wise, I know we both have career goals, things like that. But I can definitely know we'll have kids and we'll be raising a family. And I'm really excited for that. And dealing with like, you know, kids in school and like, I don't that's know. That's crazy. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be fun. So 10 years from now, we'll be really good dads. That's for sure. How are you? What do you see in the future for us? I I have the same thought that you did. Like, I see us raising kids and having a family, but mm -hmm. I don't know, like, will we be in New York City? Will we have moved out of New York to have more space for our kids and a better school system for our kids? Yeah, I that, thinking about that. Like that kind of stuff, stuff, right. That kind of stuff, I don't know. Yeah. I'm excited to go on that journey, though. Me too. What song makes you think of me when you hear it? Think of me. Um, well, I have two. Mm, three. I want to dance with somebody, because that was a really cool moment at our wedding where I surprised him with a flash mob. So cool. Um, did I mention, which was his proposal to me. Also a flash mob. Also a flash mob. Do you have any other flash mobs? What's the, what's the third song? No more first dance song. Mm. This is that one. Ben Rector. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Such a good song. What song was it? Ordinary magic with you. In you. What? In you. Not with you, right? I, I see so. extraordinary magic in you. In Someone needs to listen to the song again. My answer would be, I want to dance with somebody. I want to dance with somebody. And there's a song that's our gem pump up song. Uh, it's actually like a Disney World uh, advertisement, Parade, like a yeah. jingle. Come on, everybody, get your ears on. So it's I don't get, ever get, hear that song get, except for when we listen to it. Uh -huh. It's our gym pump up, like get ready to go to the gym. That's when we take our pre-workout and go get our gym clothes and get our keys and. And we'll say, or like Alexa, play that song, and we usually do it like three times before yeah. we end up leaving for the gym. Yeah. yeah. So that song, but no one else will really hear that song. It's not one you're gonna hear on the radio, but. That's a song. But if you say, you. it's a good time by the decompressors on Spotify, she'll play it. That's funny. You guys should try it. <laughs> okay, my turn. What is your favorite, favorite, what is your favorite cuddling position? Okay. I have a couple. I like when you lay back and you put your arms above your head like this, mm -hmm. and then I like cuddle up with you, and you like put your feet on the ground and knees in the air, so I take my knees underneath. Mm -hmm. So it's like... Really cuddly. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I like when we spoon and you're the big spoon. I like being the big spoon sometimes, but usually you don't let me cuddle in that position for too long because you're too really hot. And then I get like, I'm like, yeah, I get it's antsy. So romantic. But I like whenever you, you usually will hug me longer than you let me hug you. So yeah. I like when you're the big spoon. Mm, how about you? What are your favorite cuddle positions? I was going to say laying on my back and you laying on my, mm -hmm. my arm or shoulder. 
What is your favorite photograph of us as a couple? Oh my goodness. I would say I have two, and they're the two pictures that we had turned into drawings from Squiggle. Okay. You proposing to me and like having all okay. of our friends in the background. And then on our wedding day, when we did like the smoke bombs mm -hmm. and we're kissing and all of our friends are cheering behind us, those are probably two of my favorite pictures. How about you? Do you have different ones? I definitely love those. What I love about the picture where I'm on my knee and you said yes, besides the fact that it captures the moment so beautifully, it captures our friends in the background. Our friends are totally like off the ground jumping with yeah. excitement. So I like that a lot. Um, gosh, there's a picture of us from early on in our relationship. When we were on tour in Columbus, Ohio, we went to a musical theater night at some bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we yeah. took a picture that is like one of our oldest pictures. I'll mm -hmm. put that up now. I don't think it's my favorite picture, but it's definitely a photo that I remember from. Like of us too. That and some of our wedding photos are just so beautiful. What is your favorite trip that we've taken together? Oh, that's so tough. We have thankfully been able to travel a lot. Yep. I will say that our trip, we've, we had gone to Disney before t together, but we went once when we were both in shows, we took a week off. I think we went for like nine days. Um, that's not a week, but you know what I mean? We went to Disney, we went to all the parks. It was just us two. It was really fun. It was our first time like exploring all the parks together. Yeah. You? I think my favorite is when we went to Disneyland with our wedding party. Oh, that gosh. was like a, an epic trip yeah. on its own. So. Irreplaceable moments. Yeah. That's so cool. For sure. What has been one of your favorite dates we've gone on? Gosh, there have been so many good ones. Um, I would say my favorite one is our very first date when we went to the movies. Mm -hmm. And it was like a little secret date, but yeah. we knew we were on a date. Yeah. How are you? Gosh, we've had a lot. Um, I think one we did whenever we first moved into this apartment, mm -hmm. uh, we moved close to our favorite margarita spot. Mm -hmm. And so if we moved in, it was snowing outside. Even though it was snowing, we went and got frozen margaritas. That's yes. really special. Remember when we could sit inside and have a frozen drink? Oh, it's been a while. During the winter. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us for Pillow Talk. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Let's go to bed. I love you. Love you too. Okay.